The first group of awards are the academic awards. These are presentations from school groups and organizations for students who have been involved in activities throughout the school year. Good evening. My name is Zach Blattner, and I have the privilege of advising the Prowler Club. Before announcing the winners of the Prowler's annual awards, I'd first like to recognize the entire student newspaper staff. The coronavirus pandemic and the resulting closure of our brick and mortar schools has thrown us all for a loop. But the Prowler staff has demonstrated remarkable resilience, continuing to serve its readership by covering the CHS community as if COVID-19 was no obstacle published in the news whatsoever. Now, for the past 16 years, the Prowler has honored its finest staff members in the areas of leadership and writing, with the Ryan Reichwald Outstanding Leader of the Year Award and the Pat Colby Outstanding Writer of the Year Award, respectively. I'd like to first present the Ryan Reichwald Outstanding Leader of the Year Award. Last year, I presented this award to Cheyenne Berger for taking the lead and getting the Prowler back online with our website, chsprowler.com. Since then, besides earning several regional and state awards for her writing, Cheyenne has been largely responsible for adding an app to the variety of ways we seek to make the reading of the Prowler as convenient as possible. So congrats, Cheyenne, on being a repeat winner of the Ryan Reichwald Outstanding Leader of the Year Award. I am thankful for your leadership these past four years, both in getting our publication back on track, technologically speaking, and in generally setting a great example for your fellow student journalists. In fact, I have a feeling that if Cheyenne were here to give an acceptance speech, she would definitely tell you all the Student News Source app is free. Just download the app, look up Chilton High School, select it, and click Get Started. As for the Pat Colby Outstanding Writer of the Year Award, I will admit to having been on the fence about this one until a few weeks ago. However, in the end, it is with complete conviction that I name Isabel Kopf the winner. Yes, of course, Isabel has won numerous regional and state awards for her writing. She is a talented writer after all. But what sealed the decision for me is a column titled The Heartbreak of a Senior Athlete. Isabel's openness and sincerity really struck me. But don't take my word for it. Here's a timely excerpt from her column, just one of many strong articles she's crafted over these past four years. My heart goes out especially to my fellow classmates and other 2020 class members who do not get to savor the months before entering a new chapter of their lives. But please remember your efforts to get to where you are today were not wasted. Although it hurts not being able to have these last month, whatever lessons you learned, skills you developed, and memories you created throughout those years have made you the individual you are today. And that is something lost time can never take away from you. Congratulations, Isabel. And to Cheyenne, Isabel, Emily Holt, Sophie Brandt, and all the other soon-to-be CHS grads who have contributed to the Prowl over the past four years, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Hello, everybody. I am Samantha Myers. I am the head coach of the Chilton High School Forensics team. And tonight I'm going to be presenting two awards on behalf of myself and my two assistant coaches, Michelle Kohan and Emily Guy. The first award that I'm going to be presenting tonight is the four-year participation award. This award is given to participants who are very committed to uh, the forensics program here at Chilton High School and that they have remained committed through all four years of their high school career. So our first recipient of the four-year participation award this year is Sophie Brandt. Sophie has competed in solo acting serious all four years of her high school career. Um, she always has very in, like incredibly emotional pieces. Um, she definitely puts everything into her pieces. She even makes herself cry um, on occasion when, it, when she needs to. She has made it to state every year that that was possible. We did not have a state competition this year. Um, so but she would have made it to state this year had that been held. Um, she is a previous Tabitha Reichwald Memorial Award winner as well. The second recipient of the four-year participation award is Emily Holtz. Emily has competed in pros throughout her four years in forensic. She always, her pieces are always very unique. Um, they always have some sort of underlying message. She works super hard throughout the entire year, even when it's not forensic season, to make sure her pieces are the best that they can be. Um, she's also made it to state, would have made it to state uh, this year as well. Um, very dedicated forensics uh, participant. 
Our third recipient is Emily Elizabeth Maney. Emily has competed in Farago her four years in forensics. Um, she always puts together pieces that hold a very special meaning to her, but they always bring about bring awareness to important topics. This year, for example, she talked about generational differences and the bad rap that her generation gets. Um, she has made it to state every year that that's been possible as well, and again, would have made it to state this year. She's also a previous Tabitha Reichwald Memorial Award winner, um, just like Sophie. So the final award that I'm giving out tonight is the Tabitha Reichwald Memorial Forensics Award. Um, this award is in memory of a former CHS student um, named Tabitha Reichwald. She passed away in a car accident in 2005, and this award has been given in her in memorial of her um, every year since. So this person, the winner of, the, of this award, is always somebody who spends a lot of time preparing, um, goes to all of the meetings, makes progress through the season. Um, it does not have to be the highest scoring piece or the most polished piece, um, but this person needs to show a love of forensics through the time and the thought that they put into their pieces. Um, this is somebody who shares the love of forensics with everybody else on the team. So this year, the recipient of our Tabitha Reichwald Memorial Forensics Award is Emily Holtz. Um, like I said before, Emily puts a lot of time in forensics. Um, she chooses her next piece well before the season begins most years. Um, she's a very positive force in the forensics team. She gets people to love forensics as much as she does. She put in extra time to compete in the virtual tournament this year um, that was kind of in place of the state tournament, just another opportunity for them to compete. Um, and then was also working to put together a forensics night at the library and to update our display case at school, although those things got uh, interrupted with um, this closing of school. So um, Emily is our Tabitha Reichwald Memorial Award winner, and she is a very deserving um, winner as well. She puts a lot of time into forensics and shares that love of forensics with everybody. That is all I have uh, for awards tonight. I just want to say thank you to the entire forensics team. Um, this, even though this was a very short season, we only competed twice. Um, we were, we still have that conference champion uh, plaque for this year in our display case, and it was a super fun uh, season competing. Um, with all of you, and you all put in so much work, and I wish we would have had a longer season, but thank you all so much for all of the work that you put into your forensics pieces this year. Hello, everybody. I'm here today to present the John Philip Sousa Award. John Philip Sousa is one of the most influential band directors, composers, and conductors in history, and every year bands across the country vote on one senior band member who displays qualities of superior musicianship, cooperation, loyalty, and dependability. This is voted on within the band, and their name is put on a plaque and hung in the music hallway, so we remember their influence forever. This year, I am proud to give this award to Miss Heather Carls. Congrats, Heather! Hi, I'm Mrs. Bartles. And I'm Mr. Bartles. We are here to present the High School Science Awards for the 2019-2020 school year. We will start with Science Olympiad. This member that we are recognizing for Science Olympiad is a four-year team member. It is Wyatt Schmitz. And we are definitely going to be missing Wyatt next year as he's been a leader in our build events. Wyatt, we wish you much, much success in college. Our next team member is a three-year team member. And Ariana has taken a special interest the last two seasons in an event called Sounds of Music. And during that event, you have to construct a musical instrument that you then have to play. She's done a really nice job with that event, and we will miss her next year as well. Our only junior on the team this year is Eric East. This year, Eric tried out several new events, and he had a lot of success, as you can see. So we're looking forward to his senior leadership next year. A second year member, Josh Savage, tried out three new events this year, and he placed in all three of those new events that he was trying out. So that was great success for him. We look forward to his participation and success next year as well. 
Gaiden is a returning team member, and last year he participated in Circuit Lab and Designer Jeans, and he decided to try those out again um, this year. He had a lot of success again and also did well in Code Busters, and it was nice to see him challenge himself with some new events this year. Devin is also a returning team member, and unfortunately, he was unable to attend our actual competition this year. However, his efforts in preparing material for competition paid off for his teammates, as you can see how successful they were. We really appreciate his efforts, and we are looking forward to him being able to compete with us next year. Aiden returned to us this year as well and took a special interest in the genetics event called Design, Designer Genes. He spent a lot of extra time preparing and meeting with teachers and making sure that he had a strong handle on what he was doing with that event. And it turned out really well for him, as you can see. And we are looking forward to Aiden joining us again next year. We had two freshmen on our team this year. And as a first year member, Jack Shaver showed a lot of leadership in his events. And we were really proud of the progress that he made throughout the season. We're looking forward to having him back next year. And Anthony Cabot, also a first year member, was willing to try a variety of events this year. And again, some strong success in the gravity vehicle category. So we look forward to Anthony being a part of the team next year as well. Our final award is the Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award. This recognizes a junior student who excels in uh, academic excellence in science. And um, we are proud to honor that award to Andrea Schmitz. Hi there, I'm Mr. Rudig. And I'm Mr. Holt, and we're here to announce the 2019-2020 CHS Math Awards. Mr. Rudig, I hear there's a big announcement. There is. Congratulations to the CHS Math team who won the State Mathematics Contest for the second year in a row and the fourth time in five years. Congratulations, guys. The members of the State Champion Math team are seniors James Austin, Ben Nagel, Tessa Rudig, sophomore Caitlin Sorwhitey, Sophomore Tiffany He, and freshmen Seth Bailey, Eddie Prescott, and Jack Shaver. In the state math contest, James Austin won a special recognition, being named first team all state for his high score. The math team competes all season long as part of the Fox Valley Math League. This year, James Austin was recognized as one of the top eight finishers overall in the math team, earning first team all league honors. He's also being recognized as one of Chilton High School's co-MVPs for the year. Caitlin Sorwhitey is the other co-MVP, and she has earned enough points to win her math team letter. Congratulations, Caitlin. Also winning her letter after four years of hard work is Tessa Rudig, and we are going to award Eddie Prescott with Rookie of the Year honors. We now move on to the various local, state, and national competitions that are held in-house throughout the school year. The following individuals are being recognized for being Chilton High School's top scorers. The first one is the 75-minute December math exam. Out of 51 participants, James Austin takes first, Cameron Owen second, and Patrick Kelnan third. Chilton also participates in the National AMC 12 exam, which was held in January. Both James Austin and Alana Hughes were CHS's top scorers, followed by Caitlin Sorwhitey. The Wisconsin Math League took place before school once a month, running from October to February. Emily Holtz had the top cumulus score, followed by James Austin. For the 27th consecutive year, the Chilton Optimist sponsored our weekly math challenge. Their continued support has provided the prizes, which include our Schnorts themed t-shirt giveaways, as well as two graphing calculators, each valued over $125. The Chilton Optimist math challenge is split into two semesters. Having already won the grand prize in a prior competition, our semester one champion, James Austin, will be receiving his own personalized prize, which will be announced later. Therefore, runner-up Ben Nagel won the graphing calculator and received it in December. 
Brady Glidden, and Alana Hughes both tied for third place. Despite a competition in which she could only earn half the possible points traditionally given, Caitlin Sorwhitey's overall score was just five points less than two of our previous top finishers did in their full semesters. Therefore, Caitlin is the Semester 2 champion and will receive her graphing calculator in the future, while both James Austin and Cameron Owens tied for second. Congratulations, everybody, and a special congratulations to James Austin. James, you've won so many things over the years, and you've already got your graphing calculator. So we thought, since you're on your way to being an aerospace engineer, maybe this would be an appropriate prize for you. Congratulations, James. Go to Mars and terraform it, and all the best. And to Benjamin and Caitlin, congratulations on winning your Casio calculator. Once again, big thanks to the Chilton Optimist Club for sponsoring the competition for all these years. And to all of our members, we'll see you next year, unless you're a senior. And if you're a senior, we wish you the best of luck. Best of luck to you. See you next year, everybody. Bye.